This special attachment in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies turns an SMG into a double barrel, and it just got a massive buff, making it way better. So we're gonna take it in game, max it out, try it against the Mega Abomination, the World Boss, and it just might be one of the new best weapons. If you wanna see more Pack-a-Punch testing videos like this in the future, make sure to unlock that subscribe button. So if the patch notes are correct, this should now be a full auto weapon and no longer a burst. And yeah, it's a full auto weapon, but what's special about it, it's now shooting two bullets at once. Oh yeah, you can see both of them right there. Thank you, Tracer's definitely helping us out on that. So we should be doing double the damage per shot because we're not shooting one bullet, we're shooting two, but this does have lower fire rate than the normal version. So we're not gonna be doubling our damage. We should be doing more damage, but not quite double. All right, come on. Is it a one-shot headshot? What? That's not a good sign. Is this not a one-shot headshot? Into oh, it is. Okay, I guess we just technically didn't hit a headshot there. Headshots are a little bit buggy in zombies, but yes, it is a one-shot headshot in tier one if you hit your shots. But that really doesn't mean anything because most weapons are a one-shot headshot in tier one. So that's not impressive. All right, let's uh, let's do a tier one bounty. Let's let's just throw it right into the fire, Craig. Let's give it the whole tier one bounty, no pack-a-punch treatment. I'll take that. Thank you, good sir. This mimic has no idea what's about to happen to it. Oh. No way. What? You know, Craig, if I would have done that, the car would have stopped working two seconds into the water. All right, Mimic. Let me throw down decoys. I only want to shoot it. Let's see how many mags we can take him out with. Craig, he really, really wants you. There we go. Oh, what the f Um, I missed a lot of shots, but... Uh... Huh. I mean, not... Yeah, that was kind of mid. Oh, Deadshot Daiquiri and Elemental Pop. But maybe it's a shower, not a grower. There's a lot of weapons that are showers, not growers. Wait, no, I said that wrong. There's a lot of weapons that are growers, not showers, and they get better when you pack a punch. Like a lot better. And I'm really hoping that's the case for this. Okay, now we got to pack this. Oh, cool. I like how I just randomly leave your squad constantly. W update. But you started this? No, Craig, this is, this is the farming contract. You're not supposed to finish these. Come on, free pack, free pack, free pack, free pack. Quick revive. We take it. Doesn't matter. We got the money for pack. We just got to travel our butts over there. Oh, there's one right there. I don't even care about the extra damage. I just want the bigger mag size. This thing runs out of ammo pretty quickly. It's not bad against tier two zombies pack a punched, although that was shatter blast. So <laughs> doesn't really tell us anything. But even without the ammo mods, it holds up. I'm an idiot. I didn't, I didn't punch the pack a punch machine. I think that's the first time I forgot to punch the pack a punch machine. We can't make any progress for the ultra mastery on this now because I... I I have a pack much camo. The build we have is really good with hip fire. I'm pretty sure this aftermarket part is supposed to make hip fire worse. So the fact that the hip fire is still this great is uh, really good. I didn't even really build this for hip fire either. I was so close last game, but we messed it up. For punishment, I'm just not going to pack a punch it. All right, hop off, Zom. Oh, he dropped an ammo mod for us. What did he give us? Brain rot. There it is. 600 kills with Zircon scale. Oh, just in time. My ride's here. All right, we out of here. Oh, love spawning with perks. Starting the game off right. You know, I want to take out Dokubi with this. Come on, Craig. We need that high tier loot. It doesn't matter if our weapons are not packed. It's not about the camo on your gun. It's about the dedication in your heart. Come on, buy centuries. You got to go. I'm really glad with today's update, they didn't fix this method of getting to Dokubi. This is so much funner than getting the key card. Holy, that's a lot of them. Oh. Craig just spammed Dokubi with a ton of airstrikes. I gave him my best effort. Oh, cool. All that for a Kazmir and a tier two armor play. See? Told you. High loot. Okay. Doka Bee is dead, you idiots. The Queen Bee is gone. You guys can leave too. Wow, we did all that with an unpack a punched weapon to still not have a pack a punched weapon. We didn't even get enough money from clearing this. Oh no, this guy's not going to steal my contract, is he? No! No, soggy wet Cheeto. Rare. Thank you, Craig. Let's go. We managed to pack a punch our weapon and keep the camo. Genius. But a disciple. We're going to start off. I don't think so. I've got a pack one rare weapon, Craig. I think we'll be fine. It's actually not near as bad as what I thought it was going to be for this. Considering we're at pack one. Nah, this is this is decent damage, Craig. I think I think it will be good on tier three. I really do. Ooh, insta-kill. Thank you. Yeah, that's right. And shatter blast. Ooh, I got a purple wrench and a pack two crystal. Wait, you got a pack? I'll take the pack two. All right. You know, I think I'll upgrade to epic as well. Pack two epic rarity. Wait, it one shot. It's one shot headshots and tier two being tier two pack purple rarity craig all right now that we're way more upgraded yeah oh he might be you know dying just a t just a tiny bit quicker now <laughs> you know just a little bit oh a tier one pack crystal and elemental pop tombstone Woo, another perk i'm not gonna use can i land on this oh this is a dumb idea hold on craig i might need to be rezzed come on 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 Ah, oh, that was so risky for no payoff. Is there a better 
Outlast contract besides this one. Scorcher travel so goaded in this game. And now we farm out 900 kills. I wish I would have spent the time to buy Speed Cola. Unless, is it near us? Is it near us? Did I luck out? Tombstone's near us. Wait, Tombstone? We got two Tombstone perks near us. Wow. On top of fixing the aftermarket part, they actually changed a lot of other stuff about the AMR9. There was a ton of buffs and nerfs to this weapon. They changed a lot of the damage multipliers. And I mean, look, look at this. Look at this big old list. The main thing you know is um, body shots are going to be doing less damage than what they were before, but headshots are going to do more damage. So uh, aim for the head and it'll be killing quicker than what it was before the update. But if you hit like chest and stuff it's gonna take more bullets to kill i think it actually does more damage in the feet now too but still not gonna recommend shooting for the feet be a normal person try to get head uh not feet unless you just like feet then i mean be my guest you do you it's only got 800 ammo in reserve that's not bad but it's not great either it's a lot better than the new smg that thing ran out of ammo in like two seconds oh yeah i just had a spore contract pop up in the t huh it's a feature i really hope season two has a lot of content because now that I've done a lot of the Ultra Master and a lot of these weapons, it really does feel like I'm quickly approaching. Like, there's not really much left to do, especially since I got all the challenges done. Like, uh, zombies need some sort of infinitely re-grindable, replayable feature because it really does feel like this zombies mode has no... Nothing that you can infinitely redo. When were we supposed to be getting the main Easter egg? Oh, uh, never. When am I supposed to be getting 900 kills? I feel like I've killed a lot of zombies. All right, come on now. Oh, we got company. We got incoming. Hi there. Bro, this definitely popped up when I wasn't looking. 900 kills doesn't take this long. There we go. The ching He's crashed. Yep. Rip Craig, rip Craig. Oh God, and I got the building bug. Oh, great. Come on. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. Don't worry, Craig. I'll exfil for you. I mean, honestly, if it doesn't go up soon, we're not going to be making it out. There we go. Woo. The game's so much better when you have Legacy as a boss, because I don't know. I really don't like when Dokubi's the boss, but I, it really sucks that they cut off all four of these to add in the Dokubi boss. I feel like they, I don't know. I feel like there should be a better solution. Dokubi is not worth losing these. Okay, let's unlock the max potential of this double barrel AMP. Go ahead, put that on. Pack a punch it. Get, oh, I did not. I didn't, I didn't punch the pack a punch machine again. Hmm. Hmm. Well, mistakes were definitely made. Doesn't mean we still can't test it out on the tier three zone maxed out. So step one, let's find a zombie with no armor that's by itself. Let's see how many headshots it takes. Okay, right here. Come on. Oh, no, as a lot of zombies. All right, we'll throw it out a decoy. I just want to see how many headshots it takes. Get out the way. Ooh, two shot headshot. Okay, it is definitely a two shot headshot to a normal zombie and it melts armored zombies too. Okay, I'm pretty impressed with it at close range. If you're hitting headshots close range, mm, makes tier three zombies disappear. Even armored ones, they come, they go. Let's see if we can do a tier three outlast contract with it. This is one of the hardest tier three contracts to do, uh, but I'm fairly confident this should make easy work out of this. Only two dogs have spawned so far. Okay, well, maybe we don't even need this. Hello? All right, now we got some zombies spawning in. Dude, these are tier three zombies. Well, they, they were tier three zombies. And when you need it, the hip fire is good. I prefer to ADS because of the massive headshot damage bonus you get. But when you have to hip fire, I mean, we're still able to hit pretty accurate headshots while hip firing with this. All around very versatile. And for our tier three reward, we got two pack one crystals and a Casimir grenade. All right, let's go find ourselves a mega abomination. Oh, I hear mega abomination. He's up here. All right, come on. You and me, mega. Yep, that's right. Okay. We take it. Already down to 50% of his health and two eyes gone. For a full auto weapon, this is really effective against the boss. Really effective. That was a lot better versus a Mega Abomination than what I thought it was going to be. It was chunking his health away. You know, that was so good. Let's do a victory lap. We'll do him again. Dude, when you're shooting him in the eye with this, it chunks. Look at that. Oh, and the hip fire so nice, too. All right, well, I guess we'll just do raw damage to him because he's not opening his eye. Luckily, this does a decent amount of raw damage. Oh, he opened it. Oh, gone. All right, we, we, I think we need to try an HVT Mega Abomination because that was a little too easy. Oh, and there's a lot of Tier 3 zombies. Luckily, this weapon can chunk them all away. All gone. Come on, HVT Mega. HVT Mega, HVT. Let's go. But first, little ammo pit stop. Yeah, um, we're not going to talk about that one. We're not going to talk about that down. We're all going to pretend like that one didn't happen. Is that another mega bomb? Where do these keep spawning at? Some days I feel like there's none of them. That's like the third one we've seen. Here goes nothing. Normal A-bomb was too easy. So now we're going to try the mega. Wait, this isn't... Why does it show over here? Uh, no. 
Oh, there's just two Mega Abominations here. You know, we won't just fight a Mega Abomination. We'll do a little double action. A little double team Mega fight. <laughs> Why not? What's harder than one Mega Abomination? Two. Two. I, I think this weapon can actually handle it. Oh, and, and a, just a giant horde of zombies too. Oh, and they're both, they're both coming at me at once. All right, we're definitely going to need a bunch of decoys for this. Dude, it's chunking the Mega one too. He's already at half health. Look at that damage. I have a good feeling about using this against the worm. I really do. All right, I'll show I'll show the second one some love too. Pop that mouth. Ah, uh, I was right. I thought I could pop the mouth before I died, but I didn't expect for the second one to start opening his mouth too. Got a little double team there. Oh, I have four seconds remaining before I can get more. Please, ammo crate. I just want decoys. There's, a, there's so many zombies here. Holy. Dude, this is a jam-packed tier three zone today. Oh my. All right, you're going down. Come on. Ugh. Dude, look at the zombies just go away. And you get 200 rounds in the magazine. Wait, where'd the other Mega Abomination go? I think one of them despawned. Oh, I think he respawned. All right, well, let's take down this one. Uh, you gotta go. There's the normal one. Contract complete. Absolutely demolished him. You know, we've killed a lot of zombies. Too bad we don't have Borealis on, so we're not making any progress to the 1,200 kills we need. You know, no big deal. Just getting kills for no progression. Who needs efficiency? Oh, free money. Oh, I didn't even open the rift. What do we get? Oh, a self revive. <laughs> I'll take that. The best part about this being a good SMG is SMGs just have good movement. Being able to run around the map, slide, and be really fast is what makes having a good SMG so nice. Like, I feel like a nice, good-feeling SMG is way better than a nice-feeling LMG. Because look at this. Nero, Nero. Dude, just the raw damage. We're probably going to end up killing over 10 Mega Abominations this game. Just by screwing around with this weapon. And so many, so many zombies. Now, to make sure it's actually the aftermarket part that's making this really good, we've got an AMR9 that doesn't have the aftermarket part, and now we're going to try to kill some zombies and take down the Mega Abomination. Let's see if it's just as good without the amp. All right, so normal zombie. Well, it was a one-shot, but that doesn't really count. One, two, three. So it takes three headshots instead of two. Oh, but you can immediately tell the fire rate on this is so much faster than what the aftermarket part. The aftermarket part makes it shoot two bullets at once, but it also lowers the fire rate by 30%. So it is still doing more DPS, but you are going to run out of ammo quicker. So it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be better, but that's what we're trying this out. Okay, so normal tier three zombies... This one's still shredding. Oh, I don't know. Oh, armored zombies, that was noticeably slower. But then again, maybe I just missed a lot of shots. Yeah, this one seems to be a little bit slower. It's still good. The normal AMR 9 is good, but I, I think the aftermarket part was making a difference. The real test is taking down the Mega, though. All right, come on, open the mouth. It's still chunking away at the Mega. Come on. Yeah, it's still pretty good against the Mega Abomination, even without the aftermarket part. I don't remember the AMR-9 being this good. Maybe it was the buff slash nerf that I got today. That extra critical damage might make a decent difference against bosses as long as you're hitting them in crit areas. I don't know. They both fry. I really don't think you can go wrong either way you use it. Yeah. And a big horde? I feel like the amp was doing a lot more to a big horde because I was making the entire horde go away with that one. Whereas this one, there's still quite a few zombies off this horde. Zombies, I need one of you to drop ammo. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, one thing of ammo. 200 bullets. Beautiful. All right. Let's take out all these stupid zombies. Come on, come on, come on. And she gone. There's a nut. They had to have upped the spawn rate. I, I have never seen this many Mega Abominations. Uh, well, um, I don't think I'm going to be able to take this one down just because I don't have the ammo for it. I feel like I wasn't running out of ammo near as quickly with the other one. Thank you, good sir. Oh, hey, look, another Mega Abomination. I mean, when in Rome. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, I've made my decision. I prefer the amp. It's good without the amp, but the, but the amp just is that, that extra touch. That extra... Yeah, you can't get me in here. Okay, well, you can stick your head in the door. That's not fair. Yeah, that's right. Come on, hit me with your eye. Oh, what happened? You died. There should be a challenge for killing like 20 Mega Abominations in a single game. We could have done it this game. I'm really curious how many Megas we've taken down this game. Oh, Mangler, you're not a Mega Abomination, but we'll take you down. Oh, nope, we'll, we'll turn you. See, this is what they need to do. They need to buff more weapons like they did for this. Or I guess technically they fixed it, but on top of it, they did buff it. Instead of nerfing things, make more weapons more viable in the tier three zone. And God, this thing destroys. We pretty much already knew this, but this thing demolishes in tier two when max upgraded. But I, I mean, obviously. But it's making tier two feel like tier one. Successful Xville. Cool. Wanted to see how many kills I got that game, but I guess just, you know. Oh, it's it's chunking Stormcaller. I mean, not as good as the crazy good boss killers, but I mean, 
He'll take him down. I'm pretty sure with the Sidewinder, I just gave up. I mean, there are max packed weapons where I just gave up killing Stormcaller because it was going to take too long. And this, not that big of an issue taking him out. Mainly because it's just so easy to take out all the zombies that are around him. I think, dude, stop moving around. Old still and just take it. Goodbye. I don't even want your gold skull, bud. Not gonna lie. I really just came here to kill you for no reason besides just to kill you. The last thing on our to-do list is to take down the red worm boss. And I do think this weapon is gonna be very good against it. However, we gotta wait till the end of the game to be able to fight him because that's how it works. And we still gotta get the Borealis killed because I forgot to pat or forgot to hit the pack a punch machine last game. Uh, so we're going to farm these out while we wait. Should easily be able to finish this before we have to fight the worm. At least I hope. We're kind of starting a little bit late. The storm color detour didn't help. Oh, what, 900 kills? We got 30. Oh, yeah, we'll get this easy. Oh, there it is. Oh, that was quicker than what I thought it was going to be. And there it is. Ultra Mastery done for the AMR 9. Now we just got to wait for 18 minutes. All right, let's go to our designated waiting spot for this one. I like how each different worm boss fight location... We have designated waiting spots. This one, you got to have the Scorcher to get to, unless you get lucky and get a Rift. Don't worry, Craig, I'm coming. Safe to say the hip fire on this, pretty decent. Even though this aftermarket part makes it a little bit worse. I, I think the build we made um, makes up for that. Oh, we there's no way we can get the guy at the stadium. Oh, come on. Yeah. Oh, I wish it showed you how many meters you were killing zombies at. How many, well, I mean, we guess we pink. 150 meter hip fire. Although, um, I will say hip firing at 150 meters, not very efficient for ammo. Oh, can we give me that ammo, baby? Okay, this thing really needs to be the special sauce because we don't have a ton of time. We got a pretty bad pull on the RNG for the zone. So we're not going to have a ton of time for this boss. So if this thing isn't great, uh, we're not taking it down. Even weapons that are pretty good against the worm would probably struggle in this scenario. I feel like the worm should spawn in faster if you get a bad RNG one. So Craig, I'm going to do me a favor. Please do not crash on this fight. I will never forgive you if you crash on me. <gasps> there he is. Get him. Okay, so far, so good. I've crashed. I've just crashed. You just crashed? What? Okay, well, now this is a solo run. Although, I think he's going to have extra health. So this is like doing it with two people because Craig was here. And I'm, I'm not exactly sure how it works with the extra health. But I think this is now a two health worm boss fight. And it is just me. I'm not even going to res Craig because there's no point. Yeah, Craig, you need to get a PC. Xbox crashes too much, bro. Uh -huh, you're stuck behind the gate worm. Oh, no. Okay, I guess you can just phase through it. All right, never mind. All right, so not only do we have limited time. No, don't swallow me. Ah, well, this is not going as planned. And now I can't be friends with Craig anymore because I told him I was going to break up our friendship if he crashed. And then he proceeded to crash. Like, he has no no respect for me. No, stop swallowing me! Or I level my screen sideways, which makes it so much more intense. Well, things are not looking good. At least we get to test the damage against the worm, and the damage seems to be about average. Not bad, not good. Just kind of, you know, it's a weapon that could take down the worm. Not the best, not the worst. Yeah, but it's become clear to me that there's no chance that we're taking down this worm. It, it, we got four minutes left. Final X fills inbound. We need to start. Can you stop, Orbs? I'm leaving. I don't want anything to do with this boss fight anymore, Orbs. You can go. I'm not hurting your worm boss. I'm not. Bro. So we've got to make our way over there. And we've got three minutes to do so. And I hate running away from the worm boss, but uh, it is clear as day. It's not happening. There is no, no way we make up the damage that we need. But we running. All right, let's see if we can do this. Oh, I can't see with the... All right, it's going to be risky. It's going to be risky because there's fog. We need to do this, pull the chute, and just hope that we don't hit the ground. Just hope we don't hit the ground. Hit 70, hit 70. Woo! Oh, we good. We good. Now we can fly to the Xville. So the new and improved buff version of the AMR9 double barrel aftermarket part is 1,000% worth unlocking and using. Uh, slays tier 3 zombies. Uh, mega abominations disappear while you're using it takes them down super quickly all the bosses go away really quickly it's just okay for the worm we were put in a really bad situation there we would have been able to do it if if one craig didn't crash and on top of that we had a little bit more time it's not going to be better than the akimbo swarms that's definitely not the case and there's still other full auto weapons that are better but it's very capable of taking down the worm boss so uh very happy with this buff and i hope that they did buff quite a few other aftermarket parts with this update the Sidewinder aftermarket part got buffed. Uh, the DG58 aftermarket part also got buffed. And then the, the Rival 9. The Rival 9 aftermarket part also got buffed. So we'll try those out in the future too. But this one was by far the most interesting out of all of them. And this was a dub update. All right, where is it at? Okay, we have a few charms. We have a... Okay. Here it is. AMR9 Mastery Charm. One more weapon closer to the Ultra Mastery. We're about halfway there. We have definitely made some progress in it. And if you were wondering, this is the weapon build I was using on the AMR9. This is the laser side I was using. Makes the hip fire crazy good on this uh we were using the slate reflector for the optic but that's personal preference i was using the demo 
D50 buffer tube, which does give it a lot of recoil, but I don't mind a lot of recoil. And when you pack a punch your weapons, a lot of that goes away. Uh, obviously, we had the conversion kit because that's what the whole point of this video was. Uh, and then we have the 100 round drum mag, which is super important. You, you definitely want to be running this on it and you want to be running the conversion kit as well with that we're going to wrap this one up let me know what weapon you want to see us pack a punch and test out in the future thank you so much for watching have a great day peace lego unlocked he's lego unlocked it's going to unlock all these camels